Hi there, welcome to the Flight Academy at Van Nuys Airport in beautiful Southern California. In this video, we're going to go through the typical traffic pattern you'll be flying around the airport when practicing touch and goes or full stop landings. First, we'll go over what the traffic pattern is, then we'll explain the legs. Last but not least, we'll explain how to operate the airplane as you fly around the pattern. The airport traffic pattern is essentially a rectangular path that air traffic around the airport will follow. This is to ensure that aircraft can fly in and out of the airport safely. There are four basic parts or legs of the traffic pattern. The leg which involves the takeoff and departure is called the upwind leg. The aircraft will be typically flying into the wind, hence the name upwind. After departure, the aircraft will turn onto the crosswind leg. At Van Nuys, that will be over the flood basin as instructed by ATC. In this case, the aircraft is flying a standard left traffic pattern with all turns to the left. So this leg will be called a left crosswind. After the crosswind, the aircraft will turn onto the downwind. This is the longest leg in the pattern and the aircraft will be traveling in the opposite direction and parallel to the departing and landing traffic. During this leg, you will be going over your pre-landing checklist. Also, by the time you're on the downwind leg, you should be at the correct traffic pattern altitude, which at Van Nuys is either 1,800 feet on the east side or 2,000 feet on the west side of the airport. The traffic pattern altitude is typically 1,000 feet above the field elevation. After the downwind comes the base leg. The turn to the base leg is typically done when the aircraft reaches a point approximately 45 degrees from the touchdown point on the runway, although this can vary depending on the airport and situation. At Van Nuys, this will be approximately over the baseball field. After the base leg, the aircraft will make its last turn to its final approach. This last turn should line you up to the extended center line of the runway. At airports like Van Nuys, which have parallel runways, it is extremely important that you line up with the correct runway when making your base to final turn, being careful not to overshoot your intended runway. It is common for two aircraft to be landing simultaneously on both runways. And if one aircraft drifts into the path of the other, or if an aircraft lines up for the wrong runway, it can cause a serious accident. Sometimes the tower controller will ask you to extend one of the legs, like fly straight out, I will call your turn, or extend the downwind, I will call your base. Now let's take a look at flying the pattern from inside of the airplane. Make left close traffic pattern altitude 1,800 feet, so only 16 left, clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff, 16 left for left close pattern at 1,800 feet, not as arrival. So, lining up with the center of the runway, 16 left, Van Nuys, here we go. I can give that central line, engine gauges are alive and green, all pressure in the green, all depths in the green. Airspeed is alive, 50 knot check. Rotation, here we go. We're going to accelerate to 73 knots, that's a VY, best rate of climb. And pick a uh, point on the horizon on the reference so we don't drift. Staying away from 16 right. We're going to keep pitching for 73 knots VY all the way until we get to 1800 feet, our pattern altitude over here in this airport. 1000 feet AGL on the east side of the uh, runway. Looking outside of the airplane most of the time, standing for other airplanes. At 1,750 feet, we're going to start leveling off. Wait for the airspeed to come up. And then power slowly goes back to a pattern power setting of 2,100 RPM. 
We've got a trim for hands free over here at ATNFP and there's a front basin over here. We're going to start turning our crosswind turn as instructed by the tower. A pattern at the, at the front basin. Holding our altitude at 1800 feet. Not more than 30 degrees of bank in the pattern always. Our downwind looks clear, left and right. We're going to turn on the downwind leg. of our pattern. Over here is a great time to do our before lining checklist. So make sure it's full rich. Fuel selector is on both. Flaps will put them in a second. The belts and shortener harness are in. Max, uh, can you take a look at the checklist see if we're missing anything? Sure thing. Landing light. We've got our seat belts on. Extra at best power. Make sure it's full rich. And our speed will come on later on. So now we're waiting for the tower to give us further instructions. Now, does your Bravo left down to me? Banana Ciro Bravo, Roger. Uh, continue traffic will be holding in position. Now, does your Bravo continue? All right, so we'll be on touch now. Right, we'll go down to 1700 RPM. And then anytime the RPM goes below 2100, we're going to turn the carburetor heat on so we don't get risk or risk getting carburetor icing. Below 110 knots, flaps go to 10. Now we're going to start a nice slow descent. Abajo 6, uh, Delta Romeo, left Now once we're about 45 the degrees, we're going to start turning the base. Now we're going to start turning the base. Again, no more than 30 degrees of bank and a batter. When banana zero bravo, turn base and drone one six left field for the option. Wind one two zero at eight traffic two and a half mile final for the parallel runway phenom caution or turbulence. On the base clip for the option one six left, then we got that phenom for the parallel inside. Now as you bravo maintain visual. Alright, on the base we will put the second notch of flaps, twenty degrees. We have that phenom jet inside for the parallel runway. We're going to be very careful not to overshoot our runway, so we don't get in his, uh, in his uh, path. Now we're turning final. Now we want our airspeed to be around 65 knots. 70 on final is fine when we get to short final 65, and then 60 over the numbers or over the runway. we got a little bit of a displaced threshold over here on one six left, so we have to keep that in mind. On final, flaps go to 30 degrees. Here's our Phenom jet passing right underneath us for the parallel runway. Adjusting our pitch and our power to stay on airspeed and on flight path. Runway is made, we can pull the power all the way back to idle. And keep the airplane at six around number 65 two, knots, 60 knots, six knots all the, the way down to the numbers. Traffic over the numbers. Now this video showed the controls of our Cessna 172 Skyhawk. Keep in mind that different aircraft might have different checklists and may operate it differently, like different flap settings or carb heat requirements. So always make sure you're using the appropriate checklist for the aircraft you are flying. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the air.